Hello, darling. Do you have the time, please? It's Beer Monster O'Clock. Hello again, guys. Welcome back to the Beer Monster Reviews. Uh, got a nice little, uh, well, I say nice. I've never tried it. Never tried anything from these uh, brewery. It's from the Badger Brewery. Uh, first, it's a uh, Beer Monster first <coughs> for these guys. There's a close up. It's called the Tropical Ferret or the Tropical Ferret. Uh, the, if you can see on the bottle, the T's been crossed out and there's an F been put there. So I suppose it is the tropical ferret. Uh, a couple of little bit ferrets on the bottle there. Uh, don't know what a ferret's got to do with uh, tropical, but there you go. Yeah, it's quite, quite a nice looking bottle. Uh, comes from uh, Asda's, £1.75 in the 4 for 3 deal. 4.6% um, ABV. Uh, it's for, uh, yeah, I said it's from the uh, Badger Breweries in Dorset, based in Dorset. Uh, yeah, so I'm looking forward to trying these. I know they're a big brewery, but I just haven't got around to trying any of them yet. And a uh, girlfriend randomly picked the last lot for me, so uh, there you go. Get the pleasure of trying one today. Bottle open is a bit crap, but there you go. It's a bit of smokage on the opening there. Let's have a little whiff. Oh, it does smell very tropical. You can smell the passion fruit big time. Mangoes. It smells quite sweet, but a little bit spicy at the same time. Quite an interesting one. It smells very, very, very fruity. Oh yeah. Anyway, let's get it in the glass. Give it a bit of a close up on the pour there. It's looking like a kind of um, coppery colour, amber, amber slash coppery colour to me. There you go. Nice and clear. See right through that. You can see me right through that. I'd say it's sort of medium carbonated. Can't really pick up the bubbles because it's starting to get a bit dark in, in this room. But um, it's medium carbonated. Uh, we'll, sort of rising at a re medium pace as well anyway cheers guys let's get stuck in get it down the neck and uh let you know what i think mm. that's quite nice to me oh, it's not bad let's go again Think about what flavours are getting through. Packed full of the passion fruit. A little bit, of, a little taste of mango in there. bit in this on the back end I like a bready sort of malt in this I think they use yeah definitely at the end you get the um, hops the bit a bit of hops coming through and the fruit at the beginning I think yeah. yeah the starts a little bit sweet with a fruitiness coming through, with the tropical fruits. And then we're getting the bready malt <coughs> and on the back end, definitely on the back end with the uh, bitter hops and grapefruity sort of this. Yeah, it's quite nice, quite well balanced beer. I will say, don't know how they get the fruity flavor to this beer, but um, it may be some sweeteners or something added in here. But it's not ruining it for me. In the end, that tastes quite nice, so it's not bad. Go again. Yeah, it's quite a nice IPA, that. I really am, like, as I'm going through this journey, trying all these different beers, um, I'm starting to discover that um, I seem to really like IPAs. Uh, to be honest with you, four weeks ago, 
I couldn't even tell you what an IPA was. <laughs> so um, yeah, learning a lot as I go, sort of uh, learning a lot about beer as I go, and um, learning that I seem to quite often like the IPAs. And uh, the ones that are nice are really nice. So um, yeah, that's one thing I've learned. And um, <clears throat> I'm looking forward to trying some more as I go along. The IPAs, they always seem to have that bitterness at the end, which as long as it ain't too ex extreme, I actually really like. As far as score out of 10 on this one goes, hmm, I mean, it's quite a good value. Sometimes I think, like, what is the difference between this and, let's say, craft beers? What really makes a craft beer a craft beer? I don't know, because, I mean, this is just like a, a normal IPA with, like, tropical fruits and all that uh, shoved in it. No, this doesn't come under being a craft beer, as far as I know. But it is quite nice, and it isn't three quid a can for a 440 mil can, like a lot of the craft beers are. And this is a 500 mil bottle, and you know, it's £1.75 a bottle, and it's in the four for free. So yeah, I'd say it's pretty good value for money. Just think about the score. Mm. I go seven point five. Probably would have gone for an eight, but there there is the more I'm tasting it, there's a few flavours coming out that are ruining it. It's not ruining it, but they're just bringing it down a bit for me. Like sort of uh, artificial sweetness sort of taste, and a little bit of a kind of met metallic-y taste coming through as well. Uh, so it's kind of I, I like all the flavours, but then you've got a little hint of that coming through, and it's just ruining it a little bit. But I still say it's better than average, so I go seven point five. Sorry about all the background noise, by the way. Kids are still awake and the missus is uh, cleaning up the kitchen. So there you go. Uh, anyway, I hope you had a great day. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you're new. If you want to, that'd be great. And um, see you on the next one, guys. Hope you have a great weekend. Bye-bye, darlings.